This used to take me about 10 days. Now it takes about 45. Getting a little older. The ladder's getting to me. There's probably 30,000 lights here. Everybody always goes, you need to get somebody to help you. No, 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 no. This has to be done perfect. Everything's perfect out here to me. I will hire people to help me take it down. The way this whole thing started was, I feel like it was maybe in the spring of 2021. I've been thinking about what song to write. So I had this cool thought, you know, kind of a sexy Christmas song and I was ready to write it and they loved it too. So we were going down there to write this Christmas song. So fast forward, Billy and Adam get in at like 1 a.m. and we cannot get anybody to pick us up from the airport. We're at an airport, taxi stand, so we go over to the taxi stand, nobody's there. And then finally, after all this time, one Uber accepts our ride and shows up. This red car pulls up and we have to throw our stuff in the trunk of the car and I lean back and I look at the license plate and it says one Santa one. I'm John Bingman, I'm uh, from Portsmouth, Virginia and uh, I'm a maintenance tech and an Uber driver. Love the Uber driving. I'm over it, I'm just throwing my bags in the trunk, not paying attention and I look over, the dude gets out and he's got this white beard and it's a red car and we're there specifically to write a Christmas song with Lee and on the dash of his car is a fluffy Santa hat. They, they had guitars, so I knew they were musicians. They're kind of giddy in the back seat, and I'm kind of like young, and they're going, hey, you wouldn't believe this, man. We came here to write a Christmas song. So he starts telling us about his life. Uh, he tells us about how he just gets out at night and picks up one or two Ubers just to have an excuse to get out of the house. Uh, he plays drums. 90s cover band. I mean, that's, that's John. That's what he does. Biden time until December comes. You know, it's that kind of thing where we tried to employ as much of the truth as we could in the whole song because you can't make that stuff up. It was like this song was forcing us to write it. It was like it was that we were not going to get out of there and not write this song. I mean, when that kind of story lands in your lap, um, you, you can't help but write it. So uh, it was definitely in the room. It was the only thing we could write because I couldn't stop thinking about it. I figured they'd write something, you know. Like normal Christmas songs, I didn't think they'd write nothing like this. This is great. I mean, when you hear the song on the radio, you don't really think about how many other people are hearing the song until you go to the grocery store in his car. And some lady yells across and goes, Santa, because everybody calls me Santa. You're famous. Lee Bryce wrote a song about you. And I'm going, what are you talking about? He said, yeah, yeah, it's on, look it up. It's on Spotify, anywhere you can get it. So I looked it up and, uh, I was like, really, man, this is cool. We're sitting on the bus and I just kind of start humming, you know, wouldn't it be funny if we wrote, Santa Claus was my Uber driver, and Lee lights up. We gotta write this song. I mean, I don't even know what we're gonna call it. I mean, so that's why we just settled on, Santa was my Uber driver. I mean, I don't really know what else to call it. It just seemed like a dream. It was just too perfect. Like. It was just too orchestrated. Oh, every line in it, by the way, is, is literally true. So I was like, well, let's just, I'm just gonna write down everything you said, and I just split it up into a couple verses, and it was like, well, there's the song. I said, this is definitely about me, because he put the hat in there, the license plate, the drums. <laughs> everything we talked about that night went right in that song. I, first thing I did was text my wife and tell her to listen to it. Now, as far as when the song came out, I thought I was going to have to widen the doors at the house to get his head through. But honestly, his head hasn't grown that much. He's still the same old Santa. Everything in the song is totally him. It's it's just spot on. He, he, that's him. Everybody that I've told the story to, which is a lot of people, because it was so incredible, they were just like, man, if that ain't divine intervention. And, and, and think about, remember, we can't, other guys cancel in advance of him showing up. Thank you for showing up, Santa. I mean, it was perfect. I mean, when I put the suit on and go out to my gigs, I don't act Santa, I just am Santa. I don't, I don't, I've never been an actor. This red suit is magic. I gotta say, Santa, um, you're exactly what I always thought you would be and more. <laughs> Santa, thank you for being a part of this song. I mean, you are the whole song, so. 
Appreciate you. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Oh, oh, oh. Man, talk about a five-star ride. You're saying a Claus was my Uber driver last night.